this is what stung me. Now, let me show you what it does. Hold on a minute. Yeah. See them? See that? I crawl like a snake. I swear I think they're kin to a snake. Let me see if I can... Yeah. He crawled up my pants leg and stung me. So, I'm going to take you through my journey of my centipede bite. Some of it's not too pretty looking either. Guys, stay away from this thing because I'm telling you, they will hurt you. You guys, what a centipede bite will do to you. This is three days, day number three, and as you can see, see it's still swollen right all the way around, right here, it's like a knot. When it bit me, stung me, pinched me, however you want to say it, and injected some venom, my legs st stung all evening, and into the night I put a cold compress on it and uh, I didn't do anything else to it and yesterday it was red really red and it had a knot on it and it felt bruised today today is the third day that's an ant bite right there today is the third day and like I said it's still got a swollen spot on it it's very very red and it itches like there ain't no tomorrow. I'm telling you, this thing itches so dang bad that I just want a claw at it. But I am not going to scratch it. So, I'm going to show you up close. Hold on. There. Maybe that's too close. <laughs> but anyway, um... I will bring you back tomorrow and show you what it looks like tomorrow. No, I did not go to the doctor. I did not get sick. I did not run a fever. I did not have any kind of reaction other than it stung so bad the first evening. It, it bit me. It got me in the evening. I was sitting on the porch it was probably around 7.30. It crawled up my pants leg and bit me. And um, so... Like I said, today's the third day. So all evening, it stung and into the night. I finally I finally went to sleep. And then the next day, the stinging was gone. And, you know, you know the rest. But anyway, I will bring you back. And tomorrow, I will show you what it looks like then. Okay, this is the next day. Um, this is what it looks like. It still itches like crazy. Uh, and I still have a knot around it. Oh, I want to scratch it so bad. It just itches so bad. Last night I was uh, kind of sick. I didn't get sick, but I felt horrible, almost like my blood pressure was dropping or I don't know, maybe I was having some kind of a reaction to it. I wouldn't think that I would have after three days. But I've never been bit by a centipede before. Millipede, centipede, however you want to call them. But anyway, this is this is what it looks like after the fourth day. Day number five. Let me get the light out of the way. Maybe you can see it better. Day five. Not much different than day four. It's still swollen around here. Still, you can see a dark red right here. That's where he got me. And I'm telling you, I want to scratch it so bad. It itches so bad. That's probably the worst part of this whole bite was is the itching. So, yeah, it's, oh, I want, I want to scratch it, but I'm not. So, yeah, day five. Okay, now we're on day six. Day six. I have noticed that right down 
around where the bite was at, it's getting a, a darker purple color. I don't like that. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it's going down any from yesterday, and it looks like the redness is even more than it was yesterday. And like I said, it looks like there is more purple in it. Folks, I hope that I don't end up having to go to urgent care with this thing. I'm trying to let it heal on its own. But anyway, this is what it looks like day number six. Day number seven. Um, just a little tiny bit of swollen. Now it's going down some. And some of the redness is going away. It still has like the purple look in it. But I think that it is finally starting to uh, contain itself and it's shrinking a little bit. Still itches, but it doesn't itch. Not like it did the last two, three days. So it didn't bother me at all today as far as the itching goes. I did have a doctor look at it and he apparently didn't think it was that bad. So, um, I'm just uh, letting it do its thing. Maybe it'll clear up. And I'll just keep taking you along every day. I'll just give you a progress and show you a picture of what it looks like every day. Okay, this was day number seven. Day number seven. It is finally starting to uh, dissipate. So you can see the skin, some of the red, a lot of the red is going away. It doesn't, it's still, it's just if you mess with it, but it doesn't just constantly itch like it did a couple of days back. So, yeah, um, most all the swellings went down in it, and uh, day number seven, so it's on the road to recovery. So I'll probably wait a couple more days, and then... Uh, get back with you and show you what it looks like in a, a few days. This is day number 11. Let me see if I can get the light around on it somehow. I don't know how I did it before, but yeah. Okay, this is day number 11. There's been a couple of changes in the last three days. I kept, the last time I talked to you, I kept saying it was day number 7. It was actually day number 8. But the itching has come back, and I'm telling you, it itches just as bad as it did when the first, like, four, four or five days. It itches so bad, but what I've noticed is that it's very hard. The skin is very hard around here, and it's raised. Ugh, it feels horrible. Uh, I'm trying to... See. It's awkward the way it is on my leg, so it's hard for me to get my, my phone around here to show you guys uh, what it looks like. But I don't even know if you can actually see, but it's like, okay, this is, you know, your skin feels one way. This feels totally different. It, it's, I don't know, it's almost like it's, it's just hard to explain. It's like bumpy kind of feeling. I don't like it. And this is day number 11, and I thought it was clearing up, but it doesn't seem to be. So I'm going to see what it looks like over the weekend, because today is Saturday. And um, I may end up having to go back to the doctor and have, a, have him relook at this. But, yeah. So today is day number 11. Hey y'all, this is day number 15. Okay, it is actually looking better. You may not be able to see it very well because of my, my phone. But 
it's actually looking a lot better I can see it to where it's not as dark red as it was it doesn't feel bumpy like it did before it almost felt like it was a burn that was healing but I mean the surface of it but you can actually see where it bit me was right there and uh, I the last three or four days because it was itching me to no ends I'm telling you uh, I was putting this on there let me turn it over so you can see triple antibiotic ointment and that really did help with making the itch go away I don't know why oh there you go now you can see it much much better I had my camera on uh, magnifying I don't know why but okay there's day number 15 15 days I'm telling you, you guys don't want to get bit by a centipede. Anyway, day number 15. Okay, this is probably the last update I'm going to give you on this. This is day, I think it's either day 16 or day 17. And uh, this is about healed up, finally. It doesn't itch anymore. It's not dark red. It's almost the same color. Uh, as my normal skin now you can still see where the bite was but it's not sore anymore it doesn't itch anymore um, I'm not having any problems whatsoever so yeah I'm happy that it's finally finally healed up so anyway if you guys ever get bit by a centipede you know it's gonna take you at least two weeks maybe three for it to actually heal up and you're gonna probably well, my my reactions were I got sick from it for a couple of days. I had a bad headache for two or three days. That wouldn't go away. I had an, just nonstop itching for over a week. I mean, claw to the bone kind of itch. It, it just itched so bad. And I had swelling. And it was puffy. And it made my leg sore. It made my leg feel like it was... Um, going to get Charlie horses in it I guess that's the only way I know how to describe it but finally now it's not doing anything it's healed up so anyway if you ever get bit that's what happened to me so it may happen to you it may not some people have worse reactions some people don't have any reactions so but this was my story about my centipede bite okay you guys if you like this video please like and subscribe to me I don't have very many subscribers because I'm pretty new at this so any subscribing I get, I really appreciate. And uh, y'all enjoy your day. Bye-bye.